Hello again, this is Kyle with 5 Minute Guide and Indelible Ink, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Lego head in Blender. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is right in our startup screen, we're just going to delete this cube. So hit X and delete. And then we're going to create a mesh. Uh, so do Shift A and go plane, so mesh plane. Uh, bring that into the center area. Maybe bring it back on the X axis a little bit. We're going to hit R for rotate and then type in 90 for 90 degrees. Um, and then we want it on the Y axis. So we hit Y. Enter that. And now we got a plane that's facing us. Like so. Scale that up a little bit. Hitting S. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to this little ball. We're going to change that to textured. And we're going to change this up here from default to UV editing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a picture and put it over there for a uh, template, basically. Let's go to image, open image, and we'll go to documents, pictures, and an image that I pre-prepared. Now, I already made this uh, the dimensions of this to be a perfect square so it's not going to get augmented um, by throwing it up here okay so that is set we can now go actually I think I have to unwrap this so um, so while this square is checked we hit tab we go into um, edit mode U for unwrap unwrap it and now it's it's set to this uh, so now we can set this back um, you might have to actually go in there you know open the image or select the image in here to actually get it to set um, but it should be set now um, so let's go switch this back to default and here we can see we have it textured uh, we do need to rotate it so we'll rotate that um, on the X axis and we'll do 90 and now we're upright okay so now we're going to bring our uh, cursor into the center here, roughly speaking. Um, it's Okay, well, you know what? Snap. Cursor to center. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right because uh, I was still in edit mode on that. So back out of that, make sure you're in object mode, make sure you have nothing selected, um, and then um, add a cylinder. There we go, that's better. Uh, granted, it was not in the location I wanted it to be in, but we can fix that pretty easy. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so now I hit three in the numpad so we can get a view from this side. Uh, we're going to grab this, bring it up a bit, scale it. Um, actually, we're just going to scale it so we get it um, just so it's grazing the sides of the picture, okay, from where we are right now. Then we're going to um, scale the Z axis, okay. Um, and then we're going to have to grab that on the Z axis a little bit, bring it down. Okay, so now you can rotate, go into edit mode with the tab, and I'm going to click on face select here, and then I'm just going to select that top face, I'm going to hit 3 again, and I'm going to hit E for extrude, when I go straight up, uh, then I'm going to scale that down a little bit, E for extrude again, I'm just going to do this a couple times, give it... Um, a nice bend um, and kind of a shallow bend. Okay, so that I missed. Let's go that. So we're going to. Just try to match up these two lines. Best we can. 
pretty close. You can go a little bit further. Uh, just that. That should be pretty good. Alright. So I'll hit three again. Extrude our way up. And then we can go extrude again. Scale it down just a hair. Extrude one more time. Scale it down just a bit. So. Now let's do the bottom part. Oops. Right. Um, and you might want to do this with the picture a little bit closer. Um, I just I just threw it there. It probably should should be a little bit closer, but we'll still be able to do a pretty good pretty good job here. All right. So extrude. We'll go down. Scale it a bit. Extrude scale and I'm just using E for extrude S for scale alright and the bottom one I'm just using that corner as my reference point, but that bottom one actually has no um, no no edge on it. It or, well, it doesn't. It has an edge. It doesn't have a rounded edge, uh, whereas the top one does. All right. So now what I did is um, is I actually looked at a um, actual Lego piece. Okay, and um, so okay, extrude this scale it down and give it just a little bit of an edge and then extrude again and go down into uh, the actual piece here I'm actually gonna go um, instead of textured I'm just gonna go wireframe we don't need the picture anymore um, but this is gonna really help um, be able to tell where we're at inside here uh, so extrude again scale it out Okay, get close to the edge, but you don't want to poke through. And extrude again, bring it down, extrude again, scale it in, extrude again, come down. And you want to be pretty much level with this one. We're pretty, we're pretty, pretty good there. It's pretty, it's pretty level right there. So um, now we can go to solid, and what we can do is um, oh, it's probably not going to let us select it unless we're looking at it like this. What we can do is extrude one more time. And so it's just up out of the way or whatever. Hit X and just delete vertices. And what uh, that'll do. Hmm. Oh, we got to do that with this one too. Extrude that one more time and delete that. That was at the bottom. So we'll just delete that. And that'll leave us this ring of emptiness here. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to change this to um, vertices. You can you can do lines too. That's fine. Um, either one of those will work, but the faces won't. Um, and what you do is you hold Control. Um, this is all commands for a PC, but hold hold Control. Um, and what we're looking for is the exact opposite ones of the ones we're selecting right now. So hold shift to move to the next row over. And then control will select uh, an entire row within that series. So we want something like this. Um, you know, split it up into quarters, eighths, whatever you want. And then just hit F and it'll create faces. All right, and just keep doing that. 
and switching between control and shift for those moves. Uh, select there. Control. Shift. Control. All right. And one more. And done. So now we have our Lego head, uh, right side up, even. All right, uh, and I'm going to do a quick wrap on this. Um, so hitting three in the numpad to uh, to center yourself on the x-axis there. Um, we'll tab and switch this to vertices. I, I don't know why it doesn't really matter, but I like to. Um, we're going to hit A to select everything. We're going to do hit U unwrap and we're gonna do unwrap um, unwrap from view uh, so what that's gonna do is it's gonna unwrap it with this view in mind okay we're gonna switch this to UV editing um, default to UV editing and we've already got the image here so we'll just scale that up oh I take it back they they changed it on me so you have to select that. You might have to go image open, you know, like we did before. Um, and so scale that up. It should be pretty close. Grab, scale it down a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, you want it to be. You know, you want it to be as close as possible, all right? And we can switch that to texture. Take a look. It's like, all right, it's not bad. Uh, grab it. All right. So now let's switch this over back to default. Change this back to textured. Okay. Um, and what we're going to want to do with this, so it'll show up when we render, is you want to go over to your materials tab here, select a new one, and then select face textures down here. All right. And then we go and we render it. We have our guy. Our Gale. Gale. I should say gal. Um, and obviously you can, you know, manipulate the image, you know, a bit more and whatnot if you want. Uh, a good way to do that. Let's just uh, do this real fast here. Let's just control, control click these face. Um, just all the ones that have the face on them already. And we'll go you. And we'll go to our UV editing and we'll just grab those, scale that down, uh, scale on the X, grab that a bit, scale on the Y a bit, and that way we just have more, more control over the face and you know how it's positioned uh, we do get some weird shadowing and whatnot and ideally you would want a picture that doesn't have any shadowing um, that would uh, that would definitely be best um, so um, but another thing we can do is uh, we can hit smooth and that'll just smooth everything up nice and good um so oh I missed some of the uh, the lip on that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go back into edit mode here. I'm just gonna select everything and I'm just gonna unwrap it from view. Um but I just showed you that so that you can um edit the face a little bit more um and get a little bit more out of that. Okay, so let's do this again. Scale this up. All right. Uh, I'm just trying to get that lip out of this area. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what uh, what that. See, that doesn't. Yeah, we're getting some weird, weird artifacts there, though. 
Um, and like you can go in and you can, you know, you can alter where you want all this stuff to, to really be. Um, let's go solid on that and we can select all these and just grab them move them around a bit you know, to whatever whatever works the best that's not too bad um, let's let's place some lights in here grab that um, switch back to default on our screen let's turn this into a Sun let's shift D will duplicate let me create a secondary one rotate that on the z-axis bit So we can get some crisscrossing suns here, um, and then rotate that on the Y just to bring it up a bit. Okay, now let's move our camera. Um, let's bring it over here. Let's rotate that on Z. Um, if you hit zero, you can actually go and see the camera view. Um, grab this, bring it down a bit, and rotate that on the X. Oops, sorry, Y. Um, you hit R and then Y, and I'll do that. Now when we render this, you won't see the background image, you'll just see this. So we render that image, and there you go. There's your Lego head. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to try to do a bunch more Lego tutorials uh, for Blender. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or anything else you'd like to see, um, let me know. Leave a comment in the comment area below. All right. Uh, thanks, and I hope you found this informative. This is Kyle with 5-Minute Guide.